So in this second video, I'm just going to talk about the sun. My sun is a little bit uh, worse for wear because I, you know, when I did a test run um, and I used terps to wipe off my paint, it took quite a lot of the white there. So um, that's how I'm aiming for it to look, sort of bright and white. Let me just explain to you what's happening in this colour sequence. And this is very true for sunsets as a generalisation. I've got a sunset from my veranda at Gracetown um, and you've probably seen that in the background and that has the same sort of thing going on. So where the sun is, it's white. It's basically a mix of white, black and a hue, but it's it's bang on the white. There's it says it's got a reddish hue, but there's so little of it in there that it's pure white, pure black, or the colour, and it's on the pure white one. So that's in the centre. Let's have a look at this colour that fringes the white, and you can see that it is a lemon yellow, so a cadmium yellow would be perfect for that. And yes, it is a yellow to green, quite a greeny yellow, and we know that about cadmium white, the, uh, sorry, cadmium yellow, that it, that it is a, a bit of a greeny, tinge to it so um, and then once we go off here we're going off to orange and then further out reds so we're really moving um, from a white to a yellowy green through the oranges and through to the reds as we move further and further away so that's very typical of sunlight to register as um, a bright white with a, a yellow surround um, I really need to let this dry before I paint it, but um, you know um, you'll need to to have a couple of steps here. Um, so you put your, your middle bit with white in it, and this has to be pure white, really, really pure white. You see I'm washing my brush and there's still quite a lot of um, colour in it. So I'll just put it on this. You can see that red still coming out. I can't afford to have any of that on my brush while I'm mixing a white. Otherwise, it'll really uh, dampen the impact of that white. So look, let's, the brush is not perfect, but it's um, just for the purpose of the exercise. I'm getting some white here and I don't like it. I can see that's already, I don't know how, how it appears on the video, but it's, it already got like a, a reddish tinge. So that's something to really watch out for. Um, another thing um, you can do as part of your cleaning process is to use some of the oil that you've got. And that, that can be quite good at um, providing another type of medium to pull that pigment out. So anyway, watch out for that because you want this to be white. You want bang for your buck in the center there. And you also need to make sure that you haven't got white in your, so you haven't got reds or other colors in your white paint and also in your liquid, okay? So um, all that said, and with everything dry, you would drop in this. You don't want it to be lumpy. Um, if I go off to the side, it's going to be into the wet part, so uh, it'll it'll contaminate that white. So very important, um, clean liquid, clean white, clean brush, and put that white in, maybe as a final step, um, once everything around it is dry. So that's the white. The yellow is, um, the cadmium yellow is perfect for that because it's quite a, it's quite a lemony yellow, so I've got to keep my thumb on that. You can see I've got some red in there, which um, I don't really want. Now, what we're going to do is I'll just show you um, this cadmium yellow. I've got it a bit contaminated with red, so um, just watch out for that. But you can see it's it's really a, a really strong lemony colour. So I'll put some liquid in it. And, you know, if I put it here somewhere where there's no real paint, it's not, 
it's not the sort of intensity, the tone we want. So we're going to have to add white to that to get it to um, be bright around the sun. So we, we, we take our cadmium yellow and we toss a little bit of uh, titanium white and then just basically um, play around with that around the sun. Now I'm putting it in when I've got wet orange around and that's really dampening it so you wouldn't do that and I'm also going to you know run a um, a tail off to the side so very important you let that dry um, you've seen how to mix it and um, I think you're in a position um, to do that so I'll finish this particular video about the sun at this point um, also noting that there is cadmium yellow down here as well in this section and also um, on the margins of that white light down here on the beach. Um, look, there was one other thing I didn't cover in the other video, but I'll do it in this. There um, is quite a bit of orange um, light on the beach here. So let's see if we could um, do something, given that we've already got some orange, to mix that up. So I'm just going to take the orange that I've got here and see um, how that sits on the beach. Ooh. Um, I'm going to put a bit on and then have a look at it and see what I get. So I'm trying to get this, the impact of this sand being um, touched by the light. Um, my feeling is it's sort of a redder it's a bit of a redder colour, so um, you could mix that like that, but I'm just going to do a bit of red, uh, wet on wet. Um, see how I go. So I'm just reddening that up a bit. There's sort of mixing taking place on the canvas. Um, you're welcome to try that. Otherwise, um, if you want to do that, that mixing in your bowl, um, have a go at that. I'm not really happy with that. Um, it's it's sort of way too strong. So what I'll do is I'll just um, feather that back and see if I can get a bit of that impact, but without all the, the saturation. And I think that's working. Um, it's sort of brought in some of that, um, not terribly successfully. I think I probably need to um, add some more white in parts here. So. You can play around with that, um, trying to mix in the white to lighten it. Um, and then uh, the bulk of the colour is going to be around this centre core. And then you can um, soften it off um, as you go off to the sides. So, yeah, that's that's basically um, how I would tackle this with the, the white, the lemon yellow, and then a little bit of this colour on the beach. Look, a lot of this, I think um, I'll, I'll talk to you as well one-on-one uh, -on -one as, we, as we near completion because they're real fine finishing touches.